Hi guys, how are you? Um, uh, I hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody is um, uh, keeping busy and fit and healthy. Yeah, very important. And um, I guess uh, whatever vaccination you have, it's the best. And um, you just have to probably build up your immune system um, all the time anyway. All right, so with or without the vaccine, you still need a strong uh, immune system. So get lots of sun. And um, I guess, you know, this, the, the common things, you know, eat healthy, take your supplements, you know, exercise and all that kind of stuff. All right. Okay. So today's thing is, uh, today's topic is, what if I'm no good? What if I'm no good? You know, I think, um, uh, you know, this sentence really resonates with me because, you know, um, you know, I used to think that a lot. Like, what if I'm no good? What if I am not talented? What, what if... I'm not strong, what if, if I'm not courageous, what if I'm not um, loud enough, what, what happens if I'm not, you know, um, good enough, right? So, that's a, um, and, and I think, we, you know, when I keep thinking about that, of course, you know, it's not going to boost my confidence, it really is going to kind of uh, press that, you know, that confidence lower and lower, isn't it? Um, uh, you know, what, what do you say to yourself sometimes, you know? Um, the conversations you have with yourself is all, you know, I'm, I'm not fast, I'm not, I'm not uh, tall, I'm not, uh, I'm not, um, a lot of things. Anyway, we, we, we have, what, you have some too? Yeah, like we're, we're not, we're just not good enough, you know? And um, uh, I, I guess we, 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 we say that because we, we see other people who are better, we see other people who are stronger, we see other people, hi Eileen, how are you doing? And we see, you know, um, you know, like all sorts of people who are more beautiful, who are more, you know, who, who are just phenomenal and then we look at ourselves and say, oh man, I'm not good enough, I'm, I'm you know, I'm not smart enough, and not rich enough or all those kind of stuff, isn't it? So, you know, um, and I think we kind of beat up ourselves a lot when we say things like that, isn't it? Right? So, um, and, and, I, and, I, and I think that um, what we need to do is to kind of uh, look at things in a different perspective, okay? And um, kind of change the way we see things. Hopefully this will help. So, a long time ago, back in 2012, I wrote a little, I don't know, is it a poem or something? I, I wrote a little poem. And uh, the title of the poem is Things I Can Be If I'm Not. Things I Can Be If I'm Not. So, okay. So, you know, as I read this, you'll figure this out what, what it means. But, um, but it's a long time ago. It's Valentine's Day, actually. It was the uh, 14th of February 2012. About eight years ago, eight, nine years ago. So, anyway, I hope you like it. So, I'm just going to read it and then uh, we'll just talk about it a little bit. So, Things I Can Be If I'm Not. Okay, things I can be if I'm not. So, if I'm not talented, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I'm not talented, I'm not talented, what to do? I'm not talented. Well, if you're not talented, I think you, be consistent. If you're not talented, just be consistent. Talent sometimes is rare because some people are like born to sing, some people are born to, um, you know, do certain things and say, oh, I'm not as talented. Well, if you're not as talented, you can be consistent, all right? and, you, and you win too, all right? So be consistent. I'm not loud. A lot of people say, well, Willing, you're so loud, you know, loud. Loud as in, you know, loud. And so, you know, because to be loud, you kind of need to kind of, you know, have the sound come up from your stomach or something, and you've got to have the courage to speak loud, you know? And most people say, oh, I'm not as loud as you. So I get my, my answer, well, if you're not as loud, if you're not loud, if I'm not loud, be clear, be clear. You don't have to be loud, you just have to be clear, all right? So I, I, I like that one. And some people say, you know, um, I'm not strong. You know, I'm not strong. What happens if I'm not strong? And I, and I say, well, if you're not strong, be efficient. Be efficient. If you're not strong, if you can't beat others by strength, you can still win if you're efficient. You save energy. You know, you, you do certain things that save energy, save steps, right? So if you're not strong, be efficient, yeah? If you're not smart, you know, of course, you know, I'm not smart. I, 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 I kind of, you know, you know I, 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 I didn't get all A's in school like KC did. <laughs> but if I'm not smart, what do I do? 
be hardworking. And I was hardworking. I wasn't smart. I wasn't born smart, but I was hardworking. And you can do that too, right? So if you're not smart, like me, be hardworking. And um, if I'm not courageous, a lot, courageous is a big one. A lot of people say, but I'm afraid. I'm, 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 I'm you know, I, I, I don't have the courage like you. you. You're so brave. You're so fearless. I'm, I, I, I'm not as courageous as you. What to do? All right. So if, you, if I'm not courageous, be supportive. Be supportive. That means that you don't have to be the first one out there and do crazy things or do whatever. You can support them and say, okay, I'll support you. And most of the time, being the supporter is probably the most important thing in a team, in any organization. Be the seconder. I always say, be the seconder. You know, if somebody else raise a hand, you second that person. So that's a good idea. Be a supporter. Right? If I'm not lucky, I think a lot of people say, well, really, I'm not lucky as you. You know, they're so, look, they're so, they're so lucky. I'm not lucky. I think a lot of people kind of um, do that. And of course, sometimes it has its truth too, you know. Um, but I think a lot of people will say, well, I'm not so lucky. So what to do? If I'm not lucky, be prepared. Be prepared. You know, like the scout motto, be prepared, right? So, well, you, Han Han. So some, sometimes, you know, luck comes and, and, and there. But you've got to be prepared because when it comes, you're ready for it, isn't it? When it comes, you're ready for it. Some people say, I, I don't have the team yet. I don't have the team yet. You know, get ready. Be prepared, because when the team comes, you're ready for it. And that what, and people say that, and, and, and then they'll say, well, you're lucky. And you tell them, no, it wasn't. I was prepared for it. Does that make sense? All right, be prepared. I'm not knowledgeable. Uh, you know, a lot of people say that. I don't know enough. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. That, I don't know. I, I didn't read that. I didn't study that. I don't know enough. I, I, just, I didn't go to school or something like that, right? Now. So, this is a, I love this one. So, if I'm not knowledgeable... Be curious. That's cool, right? Be curious. Um, have a curious mind, right? If you're not knowledgeable, have curiosity to learn. Hey, uh, that's cool, man. I don't know that. How, that's interesting. Tell me more about that. Be curious, right? And you're curious, you become knowledgeable, all right? Um, I've got a few more, all right? If I'm not experienced, because a lot of times, you know, you want to do something and the people ask you, you know, you're not, you, you know, are you experienced? No, I'm not experienced. And, and sometimes you, 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 you say things, but I don't know how, I have no experience, right? We all have that kind of times, right? I'm not, neither did I have experience. So, if I'm not experienced, what? Be persistent. Be persistent. If you're persistent in something, you will develop experience. If you're persistent in something, you will learn something about whatever that you want to do. But a lot of people is, you know, if they say, oh, I'm not experienced, they give up too soon. Or you're never going to get experience if you give up so soon. So you have to have persistence. If you have persistence, you will have that knowledge and experience. That makes sense? Makes sense, isn't it? If I'm not confident, I think a lot of people kind of have, well, I'm not confident, willing, you know. I, I, I can't go on stage. I can't talk to that person, you know. I'm not confident. I think, you know, that, that alone really paralyzes a lot of people. Just that alone is like almost... You know, it just kills people. It's like, oh, you know, let's, why don't you do that? No, I can't. I'm not confident. And that, that's it, isn't it? So what to do? If I'm not confident, what you can do, or what we can do, be professional. Now, be professional. Now, being professional doesn't mean you need to have a degree. Being professional really means is do what you say, say what you do. That's it. I think being professional is 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 doing what you say and say what you do, all right? And, um, and, and I guess when, when people find that you do what you say and you say what you do, then people look at you and say, if I want something done, I'm gonna ask you to do it. And guess what? You will have confidence because other people have confidence in you, all right? So if you're not confident, be professional. You don't have to have a degree, just do what you say and say what you do, all right? All right, if I'm not happy, I think a lot of people you know, is, is all the time is, oh, I'm not happy, I'm not happy, make me happy, can you make me happy? Or they, they, they go see a movie to make them happy, they go do something to make them happy, which is great, you know. Um, but a lot of people come from, I'm not happy. So what to do? <laughs> what to do? Okay, so if I'm not happy, be grateful. Be grateful. Okay? And I think happiness comes from being grateful. You know, comes from saying that, well, I don't have that, which if I have it, I'll, make, I'll be happy, but, but I have this. 
I should be happy with what I have, right? And um, so if I, if I have what I have, I'm, I'm always happy because I'm grateful for what I have, right? So I think that's a simple thing. And it doesn't mean that, you know, you stop there and say, oh, happy, I'm done. Even if you feel that, you know, I'm going to work hard to get what I want, is also being grateful of the opportunity that one day you'll get it too, isn't it? So if you're not happy, be grateful, all right? That's the key. Last one. If I'm not ex excited, if I'm not excited, you know, and excitement is a bit of a challenge because a lot of people say, well, can you be a little bit more exciting? And the guy says, no, I can't be excited because, you know, we're not allowed to because our parents said you can't go jumping up and down. You know, are you crazy or something? People might say I'm crazy. So I can't be excited, you know. Um, you know, I, I got to do the proper thing. I got to sit properly. I can't go jumping up and down. Now, I'm not asking you to jump up and down. I'm just saying that can you be more excited, you know. And you say, well, I can't. And some people just can't. How about this? If you, if I'm not excited, be inspired. Can you be inspired? You see, when you see something exciting, it's like, oh, that's exciting. Well, when you see something inspiring, it's like, wow, that's inspiring. So if you can't be excited because of something, be inspired. When you see some, the sky that's blue, it's blue. When you see your kids play, wow. When you see so many people, say, oh my goodness. Be easily inspired. Does it make sense? So these are all the things, you know, I kind of wrote down about 2012. You know, um, looking at myself, the things I didn't have, and I looked for replacements. I looked for things that I could do versus things I couldn't do. And, um, and um, so to be extraordinary, to be, to be you know, it, it's simply a change of perspective. It's to look at things in different ways and say, well, you know, if I don't have that, I can have this. If I'm not that, I can do this. All right? I hope you like it. I'm going to read it again, just, just for old time's sake. Things I can be if I'm not. If I'm not talented, be consistent. If I'm not loud, be clear. If I'm not strong, be efficient. If I'm not smart, be hardworking. If I'm not courageous, be supportive. If I'm not lucky, be prepared. If I'm not knowledgeable, be curious. If I'm not experienced, be persistent, you get some. If I'm not confident, be professional. If I'm, if I'm not happy, be grateful. And if I'm not excited, be inspired. All right, well, that's my little poem. And I hope you like it. I hope you are inspired too. And if you find anybody, you know, that always kind of says, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm, I'm not enough, send this to them, share this with them. And hopefully they will look at themselves a, a different perspective. They, well, you know, I didn't have that, but I can do this. I'm not loud, but I can be clear. I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, courageous, but I can definitely be supportive. And I think we will be able to build our confidence and, and start to believe in ourselves. Don't believe in the things that we don't have. Believe in the things that you already have, that you can do, and, and that you can do every day. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Please share it with friends. And if you uh, liked it, let me know which one of it that sparks you, which one that inspired you. And, um, and uh, yeah, all right. So thank you for tuning in today um, and uh, being part of this um, little uh, live session today. All right, so um, be safe and um, honor your parents. Pray for Earth and um, I'll see you in a couple of days, all right? Take care now. Bye-bye. Hi, -bye. Jingyi. I'll... Hi, Willin. See you later. <laughs>